Ben Brown, Evolution Martial Arts in Sparks, Nevada with Rich. If you're getting used to seeing Rich, there's a reason for that. <laughs> it's because you're in class a lot now. Your life is such that you can make it here a lot. Um, and I dig it too because Butterfly Guard is, is a thing you're putting in your toolbox. You're catching on to everything we're doing really fast. So what we're doing now is we, I'm going to do a quick recap. From Butterfly Guard, the very best thing you can do is back exposure. Usually from an arm drag. Back exposure. Best thing there is. Most common thing most people use Butterfly Guard for, sweeping. So he gets you know, an underhook and a collar tie and then underhook sweep. Yeah. Boom. Any kind of sweep, most of them are like that. That's the second most common thing. Another thing you can do, this is what we worked on today, is leg exposure. Leg exposure from Butterfly Guard is always going to come from, let's turn this way a little bit. Yep. It's always going to come from Rich making me post one of my legs or maybe both of my legs out. Even easier for you is if I go to combat base. I'm creating the opening right there. The thing with combat base though is a good combat base is here and there's not much opening. But if you see a person kind of doing this versus your butterfly guard, attack that leg, right? Yeah. So the way to do it is you're going to slide and the knee on the same side has to go through. Then he scoots in and I want you to think of it as an overhook with your leg. Yep. So he's got this great connection here. This is essentially single leg X. So, yep, you're going to connect above the knee. Think, yeah. See how he's got my leg there? Um, look, if nothing else happens, if I'm not, if I'm not disconnecting you, you're going to twist me this way. And he's got a heel hook exposure right there. It's right there. Um, what this person might do, and a good way to stay out of a heel hook is to stand up because you can't heel hook me now. All my weight's on that leg. Well, we already went over this. There's videos for this. Yeah, so single leg X. There's all the sweeps from here. And then we like to go right to X guard. If they get rid of that, and look, he's already got me off balance. He's not even trying. I go here, you go back to single leg X. So leg exposure turns into leg entanglement. The other way he can do it is he starts to sweep me, starts to sweep me that way, so any kind of sweep, right? And I, you see what I did? I got up on both legs. But look at all this space. It's the exact same thing. You gotta get this knee through. Yeah, and you can, what you were doing there, you could put my heel on your, on the outside. you could, for sure, right? This is tough for me. If you want the heel hook exposure, then you, yeah, put it in your armpit, just like that. And he goes right to single leg X, which is ashigurami, which means leg entanglement. You don't have to get too fancy about it. A lot of times a person's gonna stand up to deal with it. Look, first thing I would do here, twist sweep. Mm -hmm. And you're in, look, you have my leg, you have a, you have a leg lock. Right now, put this on my hip. You're in a leg lock position. You have straight ankle locks, you have heel hooks. You got a lot of stuff from there. This is kind of the most basic leg entanglement position. So what I'm thinking, you know, we're, we're older for grapplers. A lot of us in the class are. It's kind of that kind of class. Who else is gonna have time in the middle of a day to do jujitsu? But I'll be in butterfly guard. I'm not that agile these days. I don't see myself creating leg entanglements or leg exposure as a primary thing from butterfly guard. But what it can do, to pass my guard and deal with my butterfly guard, um, combat base is way better. So say you go to combat base. Right when I see that, so if I'm rolling with you and I wanna keep you with both your knees on the ground, I'm gonna threaten this a lot. So you pull that out. Right, and then we're back here, but I see you paused up. Boom, I'm attacking right away. What that's gonna do is deter you from maybe wanting to do this. So then what I'm doing is I'm limiting your options. So I'm kind of putting you in this place where it's not great to be. So then I can go for all my arm drags and everything else. So I think some people love attacking legs. I'm not one of them. 
But if you love attacking legs, you can attack legs out of butterfly guard. Anytime you can get this space, the more space, the better, right? Sometimes, um, go ahead and put me in butterfly guard. Here's one of the times you can sort of break the rule of falling backwards, because when we sweep, we want to go sideways. But if you fall backwards and you make me open up, right? So just, let's just say, yeah, you got something here, you fall backwards. I do this, you can attack the leg. Yep. See how he grabbed my leg and put it in his armpit? Absolutely. Yes. Right? So that's, a, that's an option too. Hard to do slow. But really, the, the key is making them open up. Yeah. Open up this inside space. This is also inside space. And when you understand leg entanglement, you can turn into that. So just another option. We're getting close to the end of butterfly guard, but you can either use it as a primary or you can use it as a deterrent or like a secondary attack. Anything else? Right on. Someday someone's going to have something to 